Okay, I thought it would be good to show you a basic welding cart. Now, I made this welding cart when I got my first welder, which was a Millermatic 130. And uh, I've modified it since. I'm now up to a Miller 211. Uh, my basic welding cart has some wheels that I salvaged from uh, some piece of yard equipment. Don't even remember what. And um, this is angle iron. And this is basically sheet steel that I uh, pop riveted in in case I ever need to change it. I uh, welded some little nuts down there with a bolt through it and um, then I use a nut on this end and it holds pretty good. The, the wheels have never loosened up. Um, what I did was I left space for my gas bottle and I attach my magnets and other things to my welding torch but you can see this helps to support my gas tank now it is set kind of low but that's because i started welding with a small bottle and i moved up since i don't do four wheeling on this baby so i don't have to worry about the tank falling out i'm just usually going over these expansion joints in my garage and that's about it the tank sits down here in the sheet metal goes straight up i've got a chain holding it on and it comes up to the top now, I put a bunch of hooks, because hooks are helpful. These hang the cords in the back. I've got one up front here, and this one hangs my um, welding torch. And as you can see, the torch goes, excuse me, torch goes over, and it basically holds my hose, kind of like a, um, a rope on a saddle for a cowboy. So it just sits right there next to the torch. And I have a shelf right here. Now the shelf, originally when I first made it, I welded it, but then I ended up having to raise it. So I just put in this right here, these little Allen screws, and more angle iron and, and also riveted sheet metal. And I tap the angle iron so I can just loosen the screw without holding a nut on the other side. If I wanted to, I could drill additional holes in the frame and raise and lower it. But since this is custom, for the Millermatic 211, I don't need to raise or lower it. And you're probably wondering why the shelf is so high. And that's because the Millermatic door doesn't really have anything to hold it other than gravity. So when I open the door, what I did was I put a little catch right here and that holds my door open while I get in here and change voltages, change my polarity, adjust my wire tensions. This is my door holder. So basically, I move that out of the way, close and latch my door. And that's why I need that amount of space between the shelf and the welder itself. Now, one of the things that I did, and I've noticed a lot, and I don't know why the manufacturers do this, but they usually have their welders up about a foot high and angled. The angled I can understand because you need to get to the controls. Up high, I really don't think that's a great design. I had my welder up higher because I kind of copied some of these originally. And I was out welding in the backyard, hit an expansion joint. I was welding, I pulled my torch cable, and lo and behold, the entire assembly fell down, welder and everything. So after that experience, I decided to mount my welder as low as possible, lower center of gravity. Now, here is my ground clamp, and you'll notice another hook. One thing is, this goes up into the frame, and the entire frame is my ground. So I've got this plate steel here that's, I think it's uh, 5 16 but um, actually it's not really sure. It's, it's definitely bigger than uh, a quarter. But um, I use this as my welding table. It's raw steel. I've got a torch holder right here. So when I am welding, what I can do is I can take my torch and just hang it right there. This was actually made out of a chain link from some chain that I had, rather large chain link, and I put two of these holders in place. Here's the uh, rear one. Just in case I'm welding, I need a separate place to hang my torch. These are great. They're very handy. And um, it's great being able to set any work on the table and then just start hitting it with welds. You don't have anything to move. Um, other than the work you're, you've got. And I've got a bunch of uh, magnets, which I used to use a lot more than I do now. One thing I found is when you're using magnets, they tend to change the arc. So when you're MIG welding with a magnet on, 
The arc wanders a lot more. It's that magnetic field. Try it. You'll see what I'm talking about. Um, I put all my supplies on that shelf. And then you'll see at the very top what I did was I made this. Um, it's a tubing bender. And I am using it right now as a cord holder. But uh, this is a homemade bender. Put steel in here. Adjust the tension right here. And run it back and forth and spin this wheel. And you get bent tubing. Um, and that's your basic MIG cart. Uh, the front wheels are the wheels that pivot. And you can see that. I didn't put any brakes on here because I'm usually in the garage. It's pretty level and I don't find the need to. You can always chalk the wheel up with a little brick or something if you're using this outside. It's a great setup. Should be your first project when you get your first MIG welder. And um, that's it for now. Please subscribe. Thanks for watching. Bye.